Recording is on. All right. Welcome to another class of C programming and practice. So today we're going to talk about functions. So let's start. Okay. So functions. Huh? Okay, definition of functions is it's a collection of tasks. You know what is task, right? Or you can say statements. Statements. You already know one function, main function, right? We're using main function. It's defined as like this, right? This is a function. <clears throat> so today we learn about how to write your own function. All right? There's two types of functions. Two types of functions. First type is functions that has return value okay. and second type is functions uh, that has no return value okay All right. so let's see for first function we learn about data types, right? Integer, flow, char. If your function data type is one of these, if it's integer, float, or char, it has a return type. Okay? Let me give one example. Let's say integer max. Okay. Then we have here integer value. Num one integer num two. So once you write statements inside here, you must put return type. Okay. Statements. Then it should supposed to have return, let's say, the data. Okay. This return type will return the value that you want. Okay. You do all the uh, statements inside this function, then it will return one single value. <coughs> then you're going to use it in main function. Okay. So, Important thing is if your function data type is integer, float, or char, it must have a return type. Okay, return value. Then let's see this uh, function with no return. If your function has a value, it has a data type of void, that means it has no return type. Okay, it may print out something, but it will not return any value. Okay, let's see. You can put here statements. So, <clears throat> void is a uh, static, you cannot change its value. All right. If it's a uh, integer float or char, uh, it's dynamic, you can change the value. You can use that value inside uh, your main function. For example, you can uh, use for arithmetic uh, operations, all right? Or you can use for Boolean operations, or you can use for if else conditions. But if it's a void, you cannot use the void function value. Void is a 
what it is, uh, static function. It will just print out final result. So it cannot change. All right. Any questions so far? Okay, so let's see. Um, let's open the code blocks. If you have a PC, you can just try it. You can just follow right now. All right, we're going to see together how this works. Let's see. Let's open the new file. Okay. Function and okay. So first, we build the studio library. All right, then we call the main method. This is the main method, right? Okay. <clears throat> first, let's see the return type. Uh, function. Okay, let's say integer max. Let's put max number. Integer number one. Integer number two. Right. Right. Okay. <clears throat> So what we want to do using this function is we want to find out greater number between these two, number one and number two, okay? So inside this function, we can uh, define one more variable. Let's say the great number equal to zero. Okay, so now we will use if condition if num1 greater than num2, that means this great num is equal to num1. Else Great num equal to num two. All right. So now we have the this function which will find the greater number. Okay. So here in main method, if you want to use it, you can just define two number, right? Number one, we go to pi. Number two, let's say equal to seven. Then you can call this function, right? This is a way to call it. Let's put max now. Then in here, we put the uh, number one, then number two, okay? So if you want to print it, you just have to put this inside this printf method. This printf also it's a method, right? But it's a uh, written method inside this uh, <coughs> C program. It's already written. Okay, so now we have this function, so which will find the great number between this number one and number two. So we can check. Oh, sorry, sorry. We forgot to put uh, integer symbol. Okay, now we have the output, which is seven. So our uh, program, our function is working fine. Okay. It's finding the great number. Right. And one more thing I forgot to tell you is uh, you see this inside 
uh, max number is receiving value, right? So this value must be same data type with a uh, function data type, all right? Then we call this is function parameters, all right? These are parameters. So we have now two parameters, number one, number two. So important thing is uh, this number one, number two, data type must be same with max number. Same, it must be same with the function data type. <coughs> All right. So this is a way to call your function in main method. All right. So you can change this to we using the uh, scan, right? For user to enter their own value. So we can change our program to uh, ask user to enter their own value. Let's do that. And, uh, Enter, I say first integer, then we scan F, we put uh, number one. Okay. Now we have to put these two variables on top. We don't give any value, so user will give. This will be the second integer. This will be number two. Okay. Let's put this. Line here. Okay, let's say maybe nine. So that's the twice. Okay, it's finding the value, right? It's giving us a result 12. But first, let's see. Dr. Hon, do you have any questions? Okay. put the line here. Okay. Okay. Do you have any questions? Do you understand it? You can put here one print method. Okay. I think we have to put some message, right? Max number is now let's find let's say ninety nine and seven. So max number is ninety nine. See our program is working fine, right? So the function is working. So 
Well, if you don't have any questions, you can change this data type of function to float, right? Or char to see the difference. But don't forget, uh, we, put, we forgot to put here this. Return. Return. Okay. Uh, don't forget this return type. Okay. So one more thing uh, you can learn is if you want to use this return type, you can put like uh, num three. Now, oh, let's finish. Now, this return type, which is this great number, we assign it to num3. So num3 has a value of this uh, great number, right? So if you want to calculate this num3, you can use it. For example, let's say integer sum equal to number one, eight, number three. Then let's print out. Let's say seven five. Seventy seven must be fourteen. So it's doing the calculation, right? It's doing the operation. So <clears throat> now we're using the max number value to add uh, number one value, all right? So you can calculate this function's return value. That's amazing. So now let's remove all of this. We will see the uh, weight data type. Let's change to this weight. Okay. Now it will not have any return type. It will have this. Print. Print. Great number. Right? Okay. Max number is. All right. So we're doing the statement inside the function. All right. Instead of return value. Okay. Here, we're going to define this number one, number two again. Then we'll read from user. Enter first integer. Scan. Number one. Okay. Here we put Enter the second integer. Number two. Then now we call the this function max now.
It's giving us the same result. But now if you look at this line, we are not putting this uh, max num function inside print statement, right? This max num is printing the max number inside its own uh, block, right? We call this between open and closing curly break, it's a block. So we put the output here in seed of return, so it's printing out. Is printing out the greater number, max number. So difference is in if you use a void type function, it will not uh, return value for you. It will give you the static output, static result. All right. Do you have any questions? Simple example. All right, let's change. Let's make it simple. So let's give this one static. This one also static. Is that? All right. There's no addition now here. Can you see? We have number one value and number two value. So we put this number one value inside here. Inside the max function. And number two value also. Because our parameters, we have two parameters in max function, right? We call these parameters between these brackets. So then we use this if else condition to find max number. Then we assign grade num to whatever the max num is assigned to grade number, right? Because our condition is if number one is greater than number two. Great num is equal to number one. If it's opposite, then number two is a max number, right? Main idea of this thing is find the max number is two ways. No, main idea is to understand what function is. Function will help you to simplify your code because if you become a uh, programmer in the future, you may have a big project that <coughs> you may have like thousands of code, right? So in that case, you can use the functions to simplify your code. It will not be all in the same in the uh, main method. All right. So main thing today's class is what function is and how to use it. That's it. You can use to uh, find the uh, combination of number one and number two, or sum of number one and number two, not the, which is a great number, uh, which is a max number, right? It's up to you to use which way you want to use. So if you want to, today we want to find the max number between two numbers. So you can do some example by yourself. 
to find the sum of these two numbers. Right? If you want to find the sum, you can just change this. Okay. So now it's finding the sum. So you can change this uh, function name also. You see? So, let's put it this way. All right, now it's finding the sum. Do you understand what is function? So, what is it? Function is a collection of statements. Can you hear? Yeah, all right. There's two types. There's a return type function and there's a void type function. Okay, in Arduino, we use a lot of void type when we start writing a code for Arduino, okay? That's it for today. Do I will give you the uh, books so you do some exercise to understand more clearly. If you have questions, you can contact. Then tell your friends also why they are not attending. If you go to Moodle, I already upload the books on Moodle on top. There must be two books. One is for Arduino, one is for C programming. Okay. Okay, thanks for attending our class and see you on Thursday.